morning. So there will be 300 people at this event today, and 100 of us will get cancer. The prospects are even more dire for the men in the room because one in two of us will get some type of cancer during our life. And what's worse is that 50% of us will be detected late. All right, I think I have everyone's attention. Um, my name is Emmy. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ezra, a company creating a new way to screen for cancer. But before I talk about Ezra, I wanted to give you a bit of background on why I'm here focusing on this problem. I'm originally from Bucharest, Romania. If you don't know much about Bucharest, it's the city that's most often confused for Budapest, which is in Hungary. I studied computer science and applied mathematics in Bucharest, not Budapest. And in my first year in college, I started a software company. And uh, uh, then in 2015, I became a volunteer for a nonprofit in Romania called Hospices of Hope. I had made some money with my software company, and I was helping them build a new hospice near Bucharest. And in being involved with hospice, I became very interested in why so many cancer patients end up in palliative care. So I went on this quest to, to research and find out why that is. And I learned that one in three people will get cancer, that over 50% of people are detected late, and that only two out of 10 people who are detected late survive longer than five years. So I, I went and asked, okay, why are we not detecting cancer early for people? And I learned it's because there's no way to screen for cancer everywhere in the body that is fast, accurate, and affordable. So I went on this quest to see whether they, we could build a, a better test. Now, let's say you're a, a responsible individual, like Evan, and you want to get screened for cancer today. What are your options? Well, what you see on your left is five of the highest incidence cancers. To screen for these cancers, you would have to do five different tests, most of which are invasive or intrusive. What you see on your right is the other seven highest incidence cancers, and the bad news for these is that they don't have any screening guidelines. You only get tested for these cancers if you have symptoms, and if you have symptoms, it's generally too late. So uh, you, we have these tests, and, and our goal at ESRA was to take these tests and try to reply, replace them with a single test that you can do every year. Now, I have a computer science background, but I don't have a medical background, so I went on a uh, research spree, spent two years go, range, uh, focusing on ideas ranging from digital microfluidic biochips to DNA-based nanobots, trying to find a way to screen for cancer. And then in 2016, uh, November, on my honeymoon actually, I was reading research papers, as you do on your honeymoon, and I had this idea, what if you could do a full body MRI and use AI to decrease the time that you spend scanning and the analysis in order to make it affordable. Uh, my wife loved the idea, and so that's how Ezra was born. Now, to show that MRI and AI can be used for cancer screening, we decided to focus on one cancer, and we started with prostate. Now, what you see behind me is a, a prostate MRI. This may or may not be Evan Nieselson's prostate. We chose <laughs> prostate cancer because one in nine people will get, one in nine men will get prostate cancer during their life, one in five African-American men. And because the current way to screen for prostate cancer is pretty invasive and not very accurate. Men have to undergo a PSA blood test followed by a prostate biopsy. Uh, if you've never done a prostate biopsy, it's done by putting a needle through the rectum and poking the prostate at random in 10 different locations, which is neither pleasant nor, nor uh, men like to do it. A million prostate biopsies are done every year in the US, and 800,000 of them are likely unnecessary. At Ezra, we're replacing that with a 20-minute prostate MRI. You sign up on Ezra.com. You get a prostate MRI. We send you a report generated by a radiologist assisted by our AI uh, within three days. Now, the reason MRI hasn't been used for screening is because MRI is an expensive imaging modality. A prostate MRI can cost up to $4,000. So at Ezra, we're using AI to decrease the scanning time and the analysis time in order to make prostate MRIs um, affordable. And we've managed to bring it down to $675. Uh, our first AI is an AI that helps radiologists uh, in their analysis process, and it automates a number of things that they dislike, like making, me measuring the size of the prostate, size of lesions, locations of lesions. The way we've trained the AI is we have um, given it sequences, MRI sequences, that were annotated by expert radiologists. We had three different expert radiologists annotating lesions in the prostate, including the director of body MRI at Memorial Sloan Kettering, who's here in the audience with us today. And then we train the AI to output segmentations for lesions. 
And this thing really works. Uh, what you see behind me is, on your left is a radiologist segmentation for prostate and lesion. In the middle is a uh, AI segmentation for prostate and lesion. And on the right is a heat map of what the AI sees. This is another example of that. And as you can see, the segmentation from the AI is almost indistinguishable from radiologist. And actually, the accuracy of our AI is 94%. Um, and it, it's so accurate that we've been recently accepted in CARS, which is one of the large uh, radiology publications, with a paper that shows that our AI is more accurate than radiologists in identifying clinically significant prostate cancer. We went live with our prostate cancer screening program in January. And because we now have this AI that can generate segmentations, we can also uh, generate 3D models of prostate and lesions, which helps radiologists analyze the problem and patients understand the problem. This may or may not, may not be a 3D model of prostate, Evans prostate. Um, it's a good looking prostate, though. Um, we went live in January. We had over 1,000 people uh, request an invite to get screened. In our very first 100 patients, we helped 30 patients, or 31, avoid an unnecessary biopsy. 13 patients detect early stage cancer. Five patients detect metastatic cancer. And five patients find clinical conditions that were not cancer, but were, were uh, clinically significant. And because we've made so much, helped so many people so quickly, we have been working really hard on the next thing. And the next thing for us is that today we are expanding to full body cancer screening, covering 13 cancers in women and 11 cancers in men. You may remember that I started with this slide showing you all the different tests you would have to do to get screened for cancer. And today, we're replacing that with one full body MRI that can scan for all the organs you see behind me, ranging from brain to breast to prostate. Uh, we're also trying to make full body MRI cancer screening affordable. Our full body is just under $2,000, and we're also offering more um, affordable packages for those who are not willing or able to pay $2,000. Uh, we're also giving 10% to Ezra uh, to LDV Vision Summit attendees. So if you go on Ezra.com slash LDV, you'll be able to get a discount uh, before the end of June. Um, and lastly, our, our mission at Ezra is to help everyone in the world detect cancer early. That's 9 million people every year. And if you'd like to join our mission in any capacity, please come grab me or any of the Ezra team members wearing red t-shirts around the event. And we'd love to uh, chat with you. And lastly, don't forget, it is Bucharest, not Budapest. Thank you very much. Thank you.